All right, what is up you guys and welcome back. So I put out a community post the other day asking if y'all would like to see some just straight wild game cooking videos only. So that's exactly what we're gonna do today. I went ahead and got out a nice piece of backstrap right here. As you can see, looks amazing. So we're just gonna do one of my favorite and extremely simple backstrap recipes and it only requires really three things. So one of them being, of course, the backstrap and then the next, some olive oil to sear it in, of course. And we had avocado oil, that would be better because it has a higher smoke point, but this will work. And then last but not least, the uh, Butcher's Blend Texas Dirt. Super good, it's like charcoal stuff, so it's uh, it gives it some nice color because it comes out of here black, and it's just like basically just salt and, I guess salt and pepper, it's really good. So super simple, we're gonna go ahead and steam this up, and then we got the cast iron out here. And you may be asking, why are you cooking outside? Well, there's two reasons, three reasons, I guess. Number one, this is gonna get super smoky, and grease is gonna start going everywhere because we're searing it at a really high temperature. Excuse me. The second reason is because, well, it feels absolutely amazing out right now. We had that cool front come through last weekend and it's like 80 degrees right now, so it feels great. And then the other reason is because we have a uh, glass stove in there, so I can't put the cast iron on it. So let's get right to it. Meats. Seasoning. We want to get it a healthy amount of the seasoning here. Like I said, this is going to give it the color and also the flavor. Oop, that was a little much. It's all right. Flip it over, same thing on the other side. I probably should have put a little bit of olive oil on it to help this stick, but no problems. And what we're gonna do is just take it and roll it around to make sure to get all the sides, get the ends. And yes, it went all over the table, but it's okay, because like I said, we're outside. There we go. I don't know if y'all can see it or not, but uh, the pan is already smoking. So we're gonna go ahead, add in our nice seasoned up piece of meat. Now we just let that sear and we don't want to flip it too often. We're just going to go ahead and let it sit here for probably about a minute and a half and that will get a nice crust on it. Alright, we're going to go ahead and give it a flip here. As you can see, it's starting to get color up the sides, so it's probably ready. Oh, and that is a perfect sear. Y'all check that out. Get it back into the middle. And we're gonna let it go for another, probably about a minute and a half. All right, now y'all can see all the smoke and y'all can see why, why I do this outside. Because the whole house would definitely look like there was a fire in it right now. And then uh, also, you can look down here and see all the grease splatter. That's just yet another reason to do this outside. Get yourself a burner that seems like 20 bucks, you never have to worry about the cleanup ever again. All right, so once we have all the sides seared, every single side of it, we did all four plus the uh, little ends on it. Go ahead, take it out, let it sit on our cutting board, and we're just gonna let it sit here and rest for about a minute or two while we let this pan cool down. And then what we're gonna do is add in a little bit of butter in here, and you could do garlic, but we're just going straight butter today, and then we're just gonna butter baste it, uh, just to give it some flavor, and this is completely optional. It's done right now. We're gonna go ahead and do this anyway, but just turn this down just a little bit. It's already turned down then add the butter in once it cools off so the butter doesn't completely burn and we're ready to throw the meat back in. All right, we're gonna start by adding just a touch more oil so the butter doesn't burn extremely fast. Then we're just gonna go ahead and hoop in our butter. Bam, perfect. <laughs> now once that gets melted, we got our spoon out here so we can throw the meat in. And then also, very important part here, gotta have something to grab your cast iron with because this handle is gonna be hot as heck. All right, our butter's completely melted here. It did brown a little bit, but that's all right. We're gonna go ahead and throw the meat back in. Oh, and listen to that sizzle. Just gonna let it sit there for a second, and now I'll start basting it with the uh, spoon and all the butter on the side. Well, we butter basted it for probably about two minutes here, and I'm pretty sure it's done. So we're gonna go ahead and take it out. Awesome crust on it, set it here. We're just gonna let it cool down for five to 10 minutes, let it completely rest, get this shut off. And then we'll be ready to slice into it and see what it looks like. I'm hoping it's gonna be pretty rare. So let's put it in the shade and then, wait, take a look at that real quick though. Perfect. Oh yeah, like a rock. <laughs> All right, so it's been resting here for a little over 10 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and cut it up and show you what it looks like. I'm hoping it's not too, too rare because that can be a problem too. Oh, it's gonna be perfect once we get into it. 
Uh, maybe, maybe 30 seconds overdone, maybe. But it's still gonna be gas. Look at that. We could probably let it rest for a little bit longer, but we just can't wait. It's already been like 10 minutes. And yes, I washed my hands, so no worries. And I just can't help myself anymore. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. We'll snag that piece. Look at that. Oh yeah, it's not overdone. It's bleeding. That's what we want. Perfect crust on it. Let's give it a bite. Oh wait, I'm gonna cut it in half. We're gonna get a bite of this. Yeah, it's good. Backstrap is always a little bit chewy because there's absolutely no fat, but the flavor's there, baby. Go ahead and end the video here. One last look at it. I think it looks absolutely amazing. Get a close up. Get a close up. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that like button. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you're not already. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this just cooking. Um, and yeah, that's all we got for you today. So until next time, peace. <laughs>